In this video, we're going to explore how you can configure Ansible so it runs correctly without throwing any errors on Windows with Sigwin. This video assumes that you already have Ansible installed. The setup used for this video consists of a Windows 10 machine with Sigwin installed that is acting as the Ansible control host. The control host is the machine from which we will be issuing our commands from. The external host is an Ubuntu Linux machine which we want to configure. It allows for SSH access through port 2222 and responds to the commands issued from the control host. In order to have Ansible set up for our network I've created an inventory file. I've also got the private key that will be needed for the SSH connection stored in the same directory for convenience. You can see that in the inventory file I have given an alias of external underscore host to the machine we will be connecting to. I've placed the external host in a group called target and given the target group a whole bunch of variable values. The only reason I've done this is so that we avoid having to give all of the variable values on a single line, making it easier to see in the video. Now the external host has the IP of 127.0.0.1 and we will be using SSH to connect to it on port 2222 as the user Vagrant. We also set the private key path to point to the private key file we discussed earlier. Now that we have Ansible configured for our network, we can attempt to ping the external host. You can see that this results in an error. This problem relates to the way in which Ansible uses the OpenSSH client which comes with Sigwin. There are two ways in which we can solve this problem. The first solution is extremely simple. We can just edit the inventory file so that Ansible uses the Paramico connection type. Paramico is a Python implementation of SSH which acts as an alternative to using the default which is available on Sigwin. Now with our inventory file amended, we can attempt to ping the external host. You can see that pinging the external host is now successful. The second solution is an alternative to using Paramico, so I'm going to comment out the changes we just made to get back the failing behaviour. Here you can see that the command now fails again. Now, our second solution is to change a default value in the Ansible configuration. When it runs, Ansible looks for a config file called ansible.cfg in the current directory. In this configuration file, you can override defaults which are set by Ansible. I'm creating this file in which we override the ssh underscore args parameter and we set the control master to no. We pass the full option name and value of control master equals no to the dash o flag to set it. With the control master set to no we can run the command and see it succeed. And that's it. You can now use a Windows machine with Sigmund installed as your Ansible control host. 